Welcome everybody to today's live chat. It's called Jojo's Tiny Ear. We're gonna do a live read aloud with our special guest, Steph. She is the author and illustrator of this beautiful book. And we have here Dr. Cheryl Lewin with us, my crochet ear reconstruction surgeon who is endorsing the book. And um, Steph, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you wrote this book? Okay. I mean, I wrote the book for my son, Joseph. So he was born with unilateral microsia and he wears a Baja. And, you know, it was just a really big learning experience for me, just having a child, you know, with hearing loss and, and that condition. Um, and I wanted to educate other people on, on what he had. It just seemed so rare. I mean, I myself have been a teacher at Hartford for about eight years. And then two years before that, I taught at a school called the Grove School. It's in Madison, Connecticut. And it's, um, it's a therapeutic boarding school for kids with emotional and behavioral issues. So I've seen a lot of kids throughout my teaching career, a pretty diverse group. And I've never seen, like my child was the first child that I ever met that had microsia and that used a Baja. So when people don't you know, know what he has or are asking me, why does he have a headband on and this and that, I, I kind of understand why because I don't think I would even know what it was if I didn't have a child with that condition. So my main goal with this book was I wanted to educate other people um, and, you know, and show them what my son had. No, I love that. And can, I mean, I know the answer to this, but tell everybody what kind of teacher you are. I'm an art teacher. Oh, um, weird. How that plays into this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, drawing and painting are just a big thing in my life. I, um, I actually I have a portrait business that I do on the side outside of uh, just teaching art to, to high schoolers right now. And that was how I kind of got into this a little bit. I was doing portraits of children wearing like their hearing loss devices. So I was posting pictures of Jojo like on the town forums where I live um, wearing his Baja. And I'd be like, well, this is my son, Joseph. He wears a Baja. If your child wears you know, any kind of hearing device, I would really love to do a portrait of them too. And they became really popular. Um, by, by accident, you know, it was just me posting pictures that I drew by accident. And um, I got a lot of work from it. I got a pretty good response. And then I ended up getting on the news, uh, the local news for, for Connecticut, Channel 3. Um, and I, I really just got to show my work really to the entire state. And the book kind of transpired from that afterwards. I was able to find a publisher and it, it all went from there. That's crazy. Well, I know your kindred spirits and with Dr. Lewin, because as you know, she's an artist too. So um, who clearly loves her microtia kids. So that's, that's super fun. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about Jojo? Sure. Um, he's actually, he's right here. My husband has him. I don't know. I'm going to try to get him to sit for a couple minutes. He's a little wiggly. This is around like his bedtime. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi, Jojo. <laughs> we all recognize oh. him from the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but Jojo pretty much he's the I mean he's the main character yeah <laughs> and the only character <laughs> I'm gonna hand him back to my husband now but he's he's one year old <laughs> he's a pretty much he's a typical one and a half year old okay. um he loves cars cars are probably his favorite thing we have like a bunch of um I don't know what the matchbox cars that he likes to play with. Um, he loves animals. We have we have a lot of pets. We have two dogs, we have a cat, and then we also have a horse. So he's around animals all the time. So he loves animals. Well, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, he's cute. And one thing I loved about the story specifically is that you, and I, I don't want to ruin it, but like how you start off explaining who Jojo is and what he likes because none of us you know I have a child with bilateral microtia and tresia and none of us want our children to find that way we want them he's a dancer like I want it to be Manny the dancer or Jojo likes trucks you know what I mean or Jojo likes to pull mom's hair right like <laughs> yeah. we don't want them you know define that way so I, I love how you started that book off and kind of like went into just the normal everyday things about Jojo yeah, no, that was important. Like the, one of the biggest themes in the book was, you know, he could do most things just like any other kid. Um, you know, he had just had one difference, you know, in the book, I say he has one tiny ear, um, which, you know, that's okay. A another big theme in the book is everybody's different. Not everyone's the same and there's nothing wrong with that. 
Um, so, you know, kind of two themes of juggling. The wording, the graphics, like I love it. I'm not going to spoil it, but that is my favorite. So without further ado, do you mind doing a read aloud for your, your new book? I would love to. I would love to. Okay. I'm going to so. put myself on mute. All right. All right. So I have the book right here. So I'm going to show the cover. It's Jojo's Tiny Ear. I'm going to read the words and then I'm going to show you guys the pictures. All right. All right. So here comes Jojo. He's a happy little boy. He plays with his car. It's his favorite toy. Jojo can do anything just like you. He loves his pets. He plays with them too. Moving on, um, Jojo likes the swings at the park. He likes going to the zoo. He likes uh, watching the fireworks in the dark. There are many things he loves to do. Jojo can travel to a far off place. His mommy packs his favorite things. The beauty brings a smile to his face. Jojo is a happy little boy, this is clear, uh, but he has one small difference. Jojo has one tiny ear. When Jojo was born, one ear did not grow, it stayed small. His ear was so tiny, no sound entered at all. Jojo needs a hearing aid for his tiny ear. It looks a little different, but it makes the world more clear. The hearing aid goes on a band that wraps around his head. It has a shaky piece called a Baja that helps the sound to spread. One day while Jojo was on the playground, two boys pushed him in the sand. They asked him a tough question as they scowled, if you're a boy, why are you wearing a headband? Uh, this was something Jojo had never thought of. His headband was bright and once more, it had pictures of all the things that he loved. Cars, trucks, balls, dinosaurs. At first, Jojo was very sad and he did not understand. Why were these two boys so mean? Why did they hate his headband? Then Jojo realized they might never have seen a tiny ear. Maybe he needed to teach them about his headband and how it made the sound clear. If you've never seen a tiny ear, that's okay. Jojo's tiny ear makes him special and strong. He will show off his tiny ear any day. Though his ear is different, there is nothing wrong. People don't always understand the tiny ear. When they're confused, Jojo smiles and says, I have one small ear. I wear a hearing aid to help it hear. If Jojo cannot hear you the first time, please be patient with the time that it took. Do not roll your eyes and say, never mind. Listening with a tiny ear can be harder than it looks. If you want to help Jojo's tiny ear hear the best, do not cover your mouth or turn your back. This will help your words be more clear than the rest. Sign language is a way Jojo speaks too. There are no voice sounds, just silent hand motions that speak to you. Jojo knows sign language for the word play. He loves to run and jump. The boys ask, can you go outside? Jojo said, of course, I go out every day. Jojo takes his tiny ear to the beach. He can hear the sound of the waves. He can hear beautiful songs and speech. He still laughs and plays for all his happy days. Jojo plays in the water. He has his own little pool. He, uh, blue is his favorite color and he has lots of friends at school.
Jojo loves to read books. He plays football with daddy too. He helps when mommy cooks. He likes to have fun, just like you. Everyone in the world is unique. We all have differences. It's not bad. Some kids need glasses or tools to help them speak. Without our individuality, the world would be sad. Do not get discouraged if you are different. Though the challenges may seem great, you matter because you are brilliant, you are wanted, go out and create. Be proud of what makes you, you. We all thrive with our own technique. You are valuable too. The world is a more beautiful place when we are all unique. And that's the end. <laughs> ah, sorry, Dr. Lewin, what'd you think? That was awesome. Beautiful book, beautiful sentiments. I loved it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's really great. Great message, um, you know, not just for hearing loss, but for, for all differences. I'm glad. No, I'm glad that you guys like it. And, you know, I really hope that it's a book that a lot of kids can, can kind of relate to. I know uh, we have one friend that kind of lives near us that also has microsia that his mother told, uh, told me that they took the book to school. They had like some kind of show and tell all about me day. Um, and the teacher read the book to the class, which that, I mean, that's something that it just makes it kind of worth it when you hear stories like that. I think it would be great for so many families who they're, especially when their kids are first entering a new school or a new classroom, you know, for that age, it is so, um, uh, such a wonderful way to introduce what microtia in atresia is all about. And, you know, like a nice beginning step towards that education that we're all trying to do to help everybody understand this condition. Definitely. I know um, we would do that to the classrooms with the deaf and hard of hearing teacher just come in and, you know, let the kids touch the hearing aid or ask questions. And when you can kill that curiosity right off the gate, it's, it's kind of over and done with like kids are so great about that. They're just super direct with their questions. But once you answer them, it's over, you know, there's so much yeah. better. Else. So this book, like Dr. Lewin said, is just a great way to you know, introduce this subject and maybe have some good open conversations and then move on. So staff, where can you, you said this book is available for purchase now? It is. Um, so it's available for purchase on Amazon, um, Barnes and Noble, Target, honestly, really any store that sells books in the country. So <laughs> yay! <Everywhere. laughs> Congratulations. That's so great. And really Thank you so much. Everybody has it that you've even met one of our patients, like it's a neighbor of yours or something. Is that correct? Yeah. So um, I actually found out that Wesley was my neighbor that had microsia um, through a news story that he was on. He was in the news too for um, going to see Dr. Lewin. And um, it was like, I think it was around Halloween time that he was getting like all the surgeries done. And his mom was like organizing like some Halloween thing where you could go and bring candy to him. And so as soon as I saw the news interview with him, I knew I had to go, you know, meet them and bring candy. And it was pretty cool to meet somebody that lived so close to us that had the same condition. And it, it was, it was a cool experience. I love that about this community, you know, the kind of the power of media, social media and all these things takes our big, huge world kind of makes it a little bit smaller and the the connections we see so commonly that are so great is how families with this you know microtia and atresia meet up with other families and and make their own connections and everybody learns from everybody else's experience so it really ends up you know just growing growing awareness definitely um, well, I appreciate um, you, Dr. Lewin, taking the time out of your busy day today and Steph, you reading the book and telling us a little bit about why you wrote the book, um, beautifully illustrated it and, and a little bit about Jojo and I hope that everybody goes out to buy the book. We can't wait to 
have you post some pictures of you and your maybe your child uh, with my crochet and your new special book. So I'm sure we'll be getting a copy for our office. So yes, absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You know, it really means a lot to have, you know, you guys support the book. And I mean, anybody who has a child that has microsia knows the name, you know, Dr. Lewin. So it, it was really special when I found out that you guys were going to help support me with the book. Thank you. You know, she has our pleasure, our pleasure endorsement for you. So she's very <laughs> excited to, uh, you know, endorse you and support it, of course. I'm very Absolutely. appreciative. I really am. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for reading it and sharing it with us. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.